Hey guys, my name is Caleb. I'm the systems engineer here at MXU and the lighting director at my local church here in Knoxville. And I'm super excited to be reviewing the Ayrton Diablo. There's a lot of things I love about this fixture, but my favorite has got to be its small form factor. Ayrton has packed a lot into this fixture. They've basically taken all of the features from their flagship models and scaled it down and put it into a unit that's just under 50 pounds. The optics in this fixture are pretty amazing. It's powered by a 26,000 lumen LED engine and can make really punchy white light, but also a really good colored light too. A lot of times in fixtures, whenever we start to go through colors, we'll see a significant change in its level. But even with this Diablo, whenever we're punching through colors, the beam is still super bright and it cuts through the room. And not only does it have great color, but it also has an amazing zooming system. It has an eight to one ratio with its zoom, which means that you can go from super wide looks to super tight and punchy beams, giving you a variety of looks during your worship experience. So maybe during a fast paced song, you can have this tight punchy beam. And during a slower song, you can zoom it out um, and get a really washed out look and even pair it with a gobo and the animation wheel as well to get really intimate and dynamic looks during your worship experience. And with that wide washy look, we can even throw in something like a prism that's rotating. It really just opens up the fixture and makes the room feel airy and just creates this really cool dynamic effect with the fixture to set the moment in a big chorus and a bridge or even just a low verse. So everything that I've said so far in the video has been assuming that you'd be using this as your main profile fixture. Here at MXU, we've actually used these fixtures more as a key and fill light. And that's really where the framing shutters come into play and are really useful in this fixture. Framing shutters really allow you to just light what you want and cut out everything else that you don't. Some use cases would be if you're lighting a subject in front of an LED wall, there might be lots of spill onto the back wall behind you, but you can use framing shutters to really cut that in and take all of that spill off of the LED wall. Or maybe you're lighting something that's just on an empty stage and there's lots of spill on the stage floor you can also use framing shutters to cut that out again and get it off the floor and really just light your subject. I'd like to show you some clips of the framing shutters in action and how we've used them here at MXU. So here we have a Diablo pointed at one of our curtains here at HQ, and we're able to use the framing shutters to really cut in any part of the fixture and provide for a lot of flexibility on how we light the subject. I've really enjoyed my time using the Diablo on a weekly basis here at HQ, and I was trying to find something negative to say about the fixture, and the only thing that we'd come up with was that the fan noise was a little loud whenever we're filming content for the MXU app, but after looking through the manual and preparing for this video, we found that there's actually a studio mode, or it's called super silent mode in the fixture menu itself, that will actually turn the fans to a very, very low setting um, that it's not even noticeable when we're filming. Other than that, I really have no complaints with this fixture. It's super compact, under 50 pounds. The feature set in it is huge, just like we saw in this video. And you're getting that unmatched reliability that Ayrton offers with all of their fixtures. And if you're on a little bit of a tighter budget, then the Diablo SI may be the option for you. It's their new installation version that will bring the cost down significantly. So once again, if you're a church looking for a new profile fixture, the Diablo should definitely be one that you should consider.